It's TommyGun627 here, previously known as your source for gaming, I just like my nickname better. But anyway, um, right here it's a Rome Total War Battle, 1v1, 20k, CWB rules, my opponent is Julii, and he insisted on being pro, well, as the rule he didn't follow the rules as you'll see in a moment right now I'm just putting all my putting my infantry spearmen into a line and putting my archers behind them instead of in front of them and then I'm putting my cavalry at my flanks to protect the archers and have a strategical advantage so let's, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. And game should start in a moment. Um, uh, I think Macedonia is it's not underused but some people don't know how to use them effectively because if you've if you've ever tried to use a phalanx line the first time I used them I messed up but I'll try to I'll explain how to use a line effectively okay as you can see here the battle started and I'm advancing my troops so I can have the hill advantage he didn't follow the rules of CWB. He's got seven cavalry and three, six, nine, eleven urban cohorts. He chose quantity over quality. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, he made the mistake of putting his archers too far in front away from his urban cohorts, so I just charge in to try and take out a few of them. I know I lost a little bit of horses, but I'm just trying to shock and all his archers. And then he moves that cavalry back for some reason. He could have easily came up and taken out my companion cavalry, but he probably thought that would be a bad idea. So I just rearranged my cavalry over here and my archers I set them to loose they're Cretan archers by the way so his archers stand no chance against them already they're depleted and he puts all his cohorts into Testudo this may be a good formation against archers but as close as we are to each other right now it probably isn't the best idea but he does it anyway his archers are gonna rout soon because they're being completely obliterated his cavalry's just moving back steadily and then he isn't arranging his cohorts in any good formation so I just move up slowly making sure I cover my flanks with my horses and moving my archers in behind I set their uh, fire at will off for a time because this wasn't unlimited ammo. So he moves those horses over there, and it, I'm kind of watching, watching very closely, because my first intent was to just do a hit and run on his two cohort units right here, and then draw them in or draw his horses in. But <clears throat> that didn't happen. Having I'm having some problems placing these archers correctly at the moment. I'll speed it up. And frame rate lag, that's alright. Um now <clears throat> attacking with a phalanx. It seems simple enough, but attacking with a line of phalanxes is different, because 
they are not so easily overwhelmed from the front but are extremely vulnerable anywhere else you have to just my strategy is to put a whole line very close to the enemy and then just take like one phalanx at a time and engage the enemy that way if that say for example this phalanx or this phalanx went out and attacked this unit of cohorts I could use this phalanx or one of whichever one didn't go over here to support it if things got a little too intense so right now I'm just positioning my troops to get a strategical advantage I'm not sure what my opponent was doing this whole battle but he seemed to be a little um, he, he must have been like watching TV or something because he wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing if he would have formed a solid line he probably might have been able to stand up or at least use his cavalry early on because he obviously had the advantage because my formation wasn't so close to his right now <coughs> so right now I'm just getting my archers set up because once I start advancing with my royal pikemen it, he'll break his troops out of testudo and then I'll just have my archers fire upon them inflicting a lot more damage and I I don't make use of this cavalry against his infantry until I dealt with his cavalry itself so my archers aren't listening to me over here I was trying to place them in a line like like these guys also some people like my opponent did in the beginning some people place their archers in front in the very beginning so they can get some shots off at the enemy I don't think it's a very good idea because one if they decide to charge at you with cavalry your archers can outrun them most of the time but say your infantry behind was a phalanx infantry for example it'd break their formation making them weak for a moment so I'd just put them behind now right here I advance with this phalanx and my intent is to attack these two units right here because I have the numbers advantage and I have the formation now that his troops are out of testudo I set fire at will on and start my attack now over here I I'm about to charge his cavalry right there and I think I don't think yeah he does charge my cavalry while he's distracted over there I just go ahead and charge with mine onto his his infantry could have helped him a lot in this but he neglected them now he's really eaten up my companion cavalry over here so he realizes what I'm trying to do and he backs off I think he goes back and um, regroups with his cavalry but I've routed one of his units and because they're fleeing I'm having the advantage of just attacking them on the run so over here the battle's still going on I've lost minor I've had minor casualties I've taken out good portions of his troops now this is what really surprised me over here I did deplete his Praetorian Cavalry but I, I guess it was just because he went for quantity because I upgraded all my units with silver shield and silver sword except for the Cretan archers I upgraded them with bronze 
<coughs> shield and quality really does overtake quantity in most in this case so all of his cavalry are gone so now I'm just I'm going into the box basically a reverse noob square where I'm just going to enclose the enemy in a phalanx in a phalanx square and then just slowly advance and kill him easily he could have if he ran fast enough he probably could have gotten out of this situation over here and just formed a line to skirmish my phalanxes but he was really neglecting what he could have done so I just slowly advance leave these guys back here to catch any of them that try to run and my archers are out of ammo so I just use them as flanking troops to support these guys over here so I just triple it because there's not much to it battle keeps going I'm obviously going to win or at least come close to but I mean there's always a chance I could lose but right now it's almost it's like non-existent so I just kill all of kill most of his troops and just try to kill any of the routed ones I think he admits defeat but yeah he might admit defeat it doesn't matter how good of quality your archers are if they're out of ammo if you use them to like flank a, an enemy it can it has a extreme morale effect on them so right here I'm just cleaning it up finishing it off I don't want to waste time so I just go in Try to kill as fast as possible. I'm gonna fast forward it. And he's got two units left. Let's just They're fighting to the death. And I think this battle's over in maybe thirty seconds. So it was a nice battle. I just wished my opponent would have been a little more active. So I won. It wasn't very hard. It was. I had a a little bit of a number advantage, but not much. And yeah. If you guys want to see more Rome Total War videos, let me know. I plan on doing more battles like this. And I found a new strategy game called Warlight. It may be popular to some of you, but I just started playing it. So I'm going to do some Let's Plays of that and other stuff soon. So sub if you want to. Like it if you enjoyed it. Favorite it if you liked it. Thanks for watching. See you later.